It's time for every place multiplayer Civ 6. All right, and in this game, I have discovered archery. Hooray! All right, and I get to choose a pantheon. Excellent. All right, so in this game, I, I shot am... an arrow into the air. First of all, let me get rid of that. I'm the Germans. The Germans. Um. Let me get my build order and all that stuff uh, set up over here somewhere, maybe. There we go. Um. <laughs> So, Germans, Germans, Germans. They tend to work pretty well as a science, 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 or any of these providing sciencey things. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do, 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 do. You know what? Let's do better border expansion because why not? This way I can uh, join my territory sooner and keep David and other people out more quickly. Work towards mysticism, all right. All right, my scout. Ooh, I like move after attack. Excellent, that'll help me next time. Stonewall watch. Hopefully he doesn't die. All right. Wow, that was lame. So earlier today I worked on my uh, video summarizing my, uh, my uh, video game playing in 2018 and um, I played about twice as much video games as last year, about 90 something hours versus 40 something hours, which is nice. Um, you know, the kids are a little bit older, so I have a little more time, which is nice. Not as much as the year before that, which I think is my high point ever since I started keeping track. 140-something hours. Um, Each of us is carving a stone. All right, we've got masonry going column. on here. Cool, we can or build cutting. some walls. All right, so this one is Dan Will Rise. All right, so Washington. I wanted to make a settler and then a wall. I figured I'd be ready for a wall at that point. Um, so if we go here, do a settler, and I will knock that off my build order so that I know that I've done it and not that I want to build two settlers in a row. Because I could want to expand since I have David right here on my southern border yet again. Oh, he's my, my friend. All right. All right, research. <laughs> let's go aggressive let's let's not be building units that can't be automatically um what's the word uh veterans that's not what they're called in this game they're they, i don't know what they're called in this game anyway all right um so dave's there I think this guy can just be on alert here. All right, excellent. Let's do a quarry. That gives us plus one production, excellent. As well as access to stone. I don't think that really means anything in this game. All right, so I explored that way. Let's go here. Okay, there might be something behind the mountains over here. May or may not. Not a lot of room for expansion here without getting into a war, but um, perhaps in this game David and I can be friends. We'll see. <laughs> I 
So, um, yeah, I think 96 hours for a whole year. I mean, it's basically a little like From a the first stirrings of life beneath water. A little over a pay period's worth of video gaming for the whole entire year. It's not that bad considering all the other um, all the other interests I have, like cooking, blogging, um, reading, uh, programming. Um, you know, house chores, family stuff. It is not that life ashore is um, distasteful to me. I think it's a pretty oh. decent amount. Oh, goodness. Alright, um... Let's go there. Alright, let's do bronze working again here. Alright, so... Very cool. Oh, shoot. By not having these on my head, I might be causing an echo. Because I saw the mic moving there. But I wasn't talking. <laughs> Alright, three more games. Did I do this? And there we go. Didn't want to waste time loading a game I already played. There we go. All right. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. I, I recently got the uh, Humble Bundle um, packed, a PAKT um, bundle of Python programming. I'd skipped a bunch of stuff, including a no-starch press one recently, which I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for after hearing some people talk about how good it was. Um, iron. Um, That's pretty good. Uh, so far, I've learned quite a bit in the object-oriented programming uh, Python book. Because uh, Python, while well, I did originally learn with some classes, um, I didn't do as much. So I've been learning a lot, as well as refreshing myself on some of the object-oriented terminology and ideas and stuff like that. And of course, um, the last time I did it was in Java and Python with its duct typing and non-enforcement of private uh, attributes is quite different. Um, so that's been a good book and worth it. I'm hoping that the um, the GUI book is also worth the price of the um, the price of the uh, bundle. Uh, and the other books would be kind of bonus. Hooray! Mercenaries. Alright. I forgot what was over here, why I turned about. Maybe there was a battle going on and my guys needed to rest or something. Oh, there's a lonely barbarian there. Alright, Delhi. Military units. They're saying to do a campus, but... Let me at least do a horseman, and then, all uh, right, I'll say that I should do a campus next. Okay, and Agra, I didn't have anything there for Agra. Uh, let's do a holy site, let's build up some faith. Forgot if I have a religion yet. <coughs> no, so I should definitely do shrines. So maybe after I do the campus, I'll do a military unit, and then I'll do a shrine. All right, and then Agra, 
I just set up with a shrine. And then they should do walls. Because they're pretty, you know, exposed to Dan if Dan decides he wants to get aggressive. Uh, so let's do a walls, a uh, water mill so they can produce things more quickly. Um, then a granary for their upcoming housing issue. And then... Oh, whoopsie doodle. I'm in Mysore, am I not? Whoops. Let's go to Agra for a second here. Haha, uh -huh, just kidding. Agra should do none of those things. Agra should... <laughs> ah, I see. I need another horse, huh? Um, we could use a catapult, I think. Let's do a catapult and a varu. All right, so Mysore wall was the next thing I was going to build. Then a military unit. And then I'll go for a water mill. No, a granary. And a water mill. And we'll have to see after that where we're at. Surrounded. Here by Dave. Here by Dan. I should really take out this guy if I can, so I can expand this way. Speaking of which, where's my settler? Did he die? I guess he did. No, he's over here. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to control you manually because you're probably going in circles. All right. Uh, archer, archer, archer. All right, let's just go here. Actually, you know what, archer? Go here instead. Uh, catapult, excellent. Catapult, go here. All right, Dave built the pyramids. My sword needs housing. Someone wants a deal. Open border for gold, sure. Goodbye. Because I am losing gold at the moment. I think I have overextended myself. Alright. Save that game. And load up my last one. Gilgamesh, where Dave may or may not have built a city as I was coming to get him. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one.
All right, need to work on some government. Let's do that one. David. What did he do? Where is his settler? I think he sent his settler away to F with me. All right. Gotcha. There he is. Mine now, Biatch. Link up. And I found Jerusalem. They want a great writer. I give him Eridu. I think he was trying to trick me. Why would I give him something? He came into my territory. And now I've got one of his settlers. I'm rich, biatch. Alright. I'm going to go this way. Provide backup to my other dudes. Alright. Uruk. Needs amenities. Jerusalem. Next turn. Save that game. Alright. It's been Eric playing multiplayer Civ. I'll see you next time. Bye.